Hi, my name's Sean George from Never Surrender Boxing, and this is our main man, Francis Waitai, future champ of the world. Yeah. You turned up with what? Ten people? <laughs> how many did? How many of you turned up the first time? Ah, oh, there's a few boys. Yeah. A few of us. Yeah, and then the next week, maybe six of them rolled up, and then the next week there was four of them, till we dwindled down to two that took on the corporate. We're going to take on some corporate fights. I know mm. what happened to your other bro, eh? yeah. you stopped turning up after that and yeah. then it was only Francis and yeah. 10 years later he's still the only one turning up. Just friends, friends from school, eh? Yeah. I was keen straight away as soon as I heard there was a gym here. Yeah, no, that's cool. <laughs> that's why I kept coming back. <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> the real deal, eh? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That first corporate one, eh? Yeah. What was his name? Um, Heta Daniel. Daniel, um, Heta, Heta Daniels. Daniels, yeah. Yeah, fought him Man. three times. Yeah. You win all three of those? Yeah. Yeah. Shot, shot nabbies. Yeah. <laughs> we had that first amateur one in Hamilton, eh? Yeah. Francis just broke this dude's nose pretty much straight away. Mm. The young guys, eh? He ran out from the corner, meant to run, and he just ran straight into it. Boom. Yeah. And then boom, stop boom. It. Like yeah, minute, stop it, minute and a half. First mm. fight. Yeah, good start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A few times. A few times. A few times. On the Golden the Gloves, eh? Yeah. Nationals always just that. Coming second at the Nationals. Like five fights, eh? Five fights or four fights. Mm. Always just to the same guy. But yeah, that guy was good too. Ryan Scaife, he come from a boxing family, like even his grandfather was a New Zealand champion, his father was a New Zealand champion. So they were, they were just breeding them over there. His brother mm. was a New Zealand champion, like they were a mean family. Yeah. We were just always just missing out. Had some close fights with them, mate. Yeah. That first one, man, I thought you should have won that one. Because mm. you dropped them in the second round. Yeah. Dropped them with a body shot, and then the ref called it a slip, so it didn't really count. Mm. But that was just a straight two to the body. Like he bounced along the ground on his ass. Yeah. We, used to, we didn't get the we didn't get the win, but it was all good. Just keep pushing, keep pushing until um we couldn't really push anymore in the amateurs. Eh. Mm. Francis fought everyone from the weight division lower. We dropped down to 69 kgs. Went and fought the champ there. Went yeah. to 81. Fought Jerome Pampalone, who was the champ at at the next weight division up. Mm, I think that was my last fight, eh? Last amateur one. Yeah. Yeah, and then we went pro from there. 2020? 2021? Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, that was Dylan, eh? Yeah. That was a good fight too, to have a first, because Dylan was a tough boy from the amateurs as well. Yeah. And yeah. Dylan was having his first pro fight. Had a bit of a close one in the amateurs, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he was a tough guy, so that was a good, that was a good first, first fight on. I don't know what we'd done after that. Who was after that? Chase. Fought for the New Zealand title on the second fight, yeah. It was vacant and um, Chase was like an old war horse that had been around the world, sort of done a few things and come back home. Now I boxed them easy, breezed through those 10 rounds pretty good, eh? Yeah, it was pretty, it was hard, but it was good. Mm. Good first 10 rounds. Yeah, and that struck Francis' strength, even in the amateurs. Whenever he did get a loss, by the end of the fight, he was actually walking the guy down, beating him up. But just the first round and a half, it always took him a little while to get going. So the pros were always going to suit him better because yeah. he's a bit of a slow starter. And Frank's a grinder, like he'll just keep grinding on you. Keep working on the skills, mm. keep dialing in the punches and just keep getting fit. Yeah. Dropping the weight, eh? That's the main thing. Fit. Strong. Keep fit. Strong. strong. Yeah, some days you do sprint work. I always change it up eh, every day. Jobs. Whatever I'm doing. Do some long runs. I try to do the same thing because I know that's what makes me win. It's doing those same sort of training, eh? He's already got a bit of a map, eh, of what he's always, always done to prepare for a 10 rounder. Mm. You know that if you're hitting that same kind of training that your fitness is going to be at that same level and then you know you're good there. I want to see a fucking knockout, really. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it'd be good if we someone's dragging this guy out. The funny thing is, his kids got him into it. His kids got his kids got him this hiding that that's going to come. You know, they were they came over from Australia and asked him. This is mm -hmm. the funny thing. That's what we've been cracking up about. Is that those? Did they stay with you or? Yeah. They stayed at your house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at that. They're staying at Frank's, saying that their dad was the toughest, and then now we're going to see. Because mm. then Francis said, oh, there's this guy, he's had a, he's had a win, you know, Tangi Araki, we, we could check him out. We've got his kids been saying that, is, that he wants to fight me, so we're going to ask them. Sure enough, yeah, we asked him, and he said yes, so he, he must have been saying it. Because yeah. so, he was keen, they didn't, you know, negotiate nothing, he was keen. Yeah, Francis' his partner's sister, is this guy's ex-girlfriend, so there's a, bit of a, there's a bit of a family issue here too. I don't know if the bro's paid up on his child support or what, but... <laughs> he will be paying from now on. Yeah, he's a tough guy too, this, this guy. You know, he's had his last two wins are stoppage wins, and he's the Queensland champion. Queensland's bigger than New Zealand. So, you know, we're on pretty much at even par, really. Yeah. Like someone who's won a, who wins the Australian title, they're, they're pretty far up in the game. Aussie's such a big place, but, but yeah, he's, 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 um, he's from here anyway, yeah. Mm. So he's coming home, he knows what it is. Yeah. For like nearly 10 years straight, he just about never missed a training. Until the kids got older and sick and actual problems started turning up, man, he would never have training off, ever. Or if he was late, he would run here. And still does sometimes, you run here from Kopu, get dropped off out there and then run 10Ks into training and then train. And like, commitment gets you everywhere, man. There's been way more talented fighters than Francis, faster, fitter, but they just weren't willing to grind. And if you're just willing to grind yourself, man, good things come, you know. Pressure makes diamonds and if you're willing to just pressurise the shit out of yourself, that'll come. Yeah, and that's, that's, why he's, that's why he's like he is now, because he just worked so much harder than everyone else. And no doubt he's worked harder than this guy that, that he's going to fight, and that's, that's why he's going to win. Francis always works hard. And that's why the title will be coming back here. Yeah. He'll be coming on with us. Always. My name's Andrew. Um, started coming here three years ago. I gave up smoking. And I thought, I'd better find something to do with myself. So I came down and started boxing. This was when we were in the old place, uh, down at the race course. Walked in, met Sean. And he said, oh, we know, you know, just a couple of geezers just hanging about. This is the boxing club, yep. And that was it, started training from there. I mean, I've watched Francis. I, went, I remember going down to his first fights when I arrived, when he turned pro. You know, and you, you sort of see, you see a young man sort of, you know, testing himself. You know, it's quite a... You know, getting into the squared ring is, is quite a feat and anybody who can do it I've got nothing but respect for, I really don't. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good kid, you know, he works and he trains real hard, holds down a job and he talks to other sportsmen who say, you know, don't know if Francis manages it, you know, he's got a job, wife, three kids, you know, yet still manages to somehow find and have that dedication to always make sure he's making his way, he's training and he's training hard. And that sort of determination you see in somebody, and that's, for me, that's quite special. There's lots of people who talk about, or should we say, talk the talk. There's very, very few in this world that really do walk the walk, and Francis is one of them young men who does. And so, uh, all power to him, I think. All power to him. So hopefully, I'll knock the fuck out of this gaze, and then we'll all have a drink, won't we? And it'll be a good night. <laughs> Hi, my name is Prabhjot Singh. I'm a farmer, and I... Before boxing, I was a farm and working on a farm full time and then somebody introduced me to the coach, Sean. So I just came in just to have a look around. But as a being international from another country, I like the atmosphere as they welcomed me in the gym. They treated me as their own people around. And just from there, I just started training with him. And after I think a couple of months, he put me in the cooperative fight. So I'm his sparring pardon since from I started the boxing and I always knew he's better better and better but I still just keep jumping in the ring with him uh, training and training but when he turned into pro that was a big change like before 
pro, he was sparring with me as an amateur, like fast, fast, fast. But when he turned pro, then he started start the sparring slow, but into the end he was just throwing big shots to just drop the person down. That's what I found with him. And it's always good when he knows his, the other person is struggling, when you know the other person is struggling, he just come down and teaching instead of sparring, he's teaching. He teach you what to do here, what to do here, throw this punch, throw this combo, and this punch was good, keep that up, train, keep training on this punch, keep training on this combo. And he's just not a fighter, he's a teacher too. To me, yes, he's a teacher, yeah. Hey, my name's Jack Davis. I've been training here about a year and a half now, training boxing. Me and my dad talked about it, always talked about boxing and other martial arts. We found Never Surrender. First time I came here was a very welcoming experience with Coach Sean, Jack Mahammer, as you know, Ms. Probjot, and Francis all being very nice, and others welcoming, even though we hadn't done much. We came in as a family, lots of things, didn't know, but they were all super nice. Always came across super nice, everything that they do, especially in things like sparring. Guys like Francis, normally the big guys like to beat up on the little guys. Well, those guys, they would always just try and teach me. Just try and like throw the punches. You know, if they see me struggling, they'll just try and get me to work on things. I'll still be able to hit them. Wasn't trying to knock me out or anything. Which I always found super cool. So you're fine with some other guys that have a much bigger ego and they'll just be trying to smoke you and stuff and just smoke other guys. With Francis, I never found that. You know, even though he had the ability to, he would never try and smack anyone super hard, whether they're bigger, better, anything like that. It's always super nice. He's, he's cool, he's a man of few words. Um, he doesn't need to talk though, you can see it um, all in the ring. Oh, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's nice having a, a solid floor that doesn't bounce or, you know, the building doesn't leak. We don't see any mice running around here, so it's pretty cool. They're like, they're like friends that you meet that turn into your family. So, yeah, really cool final environment. Um, no judgment here. We're all here to help each other and yeah.